a very good morning children today we will discuss about a very interesting chapter that is rocks and minerals children do you know in which planet we live yes we live in planet earth our earth is made up of soil minerals and rocks but if we go deep and deep inside the earth very deep there are mostly rocks of various types it is completely filled with rocks if you will hold a rock and if you will see with the help of a magnifying glass then you can see small small particles of grains these small particles of grains are the minerals minerals are usually the grain particles or the building blocks of rocks and all the minerals combine to form one rock so many rocks contains many minerals and many minerals are of different colors okay at and uh, uh, it is possible that each rock can contain many minerals of different colors so that depends upon that particular rock so now today we will discuss about the different types of rocks and as i told you in the beginning that we get rocks very deep inside the earth that is earth crust you also know children our earth is divided is divided into three layers that is crust mantle core you can remember in the form of cmc crust mantle core crust is the layer where we live because it is the main part of the earth earth where mountains lands snow oceans rivers and where we people live all living things live okay so that is crust then below the crust is mantle which is in the form of molten form okay and below the mantle is core don't worry in this video your all doubts will be clear just hold patience children so the layer in which we live is the earth's crust the rocks on the earth crust has been divided into three main types of rocks okay and in which layer we live crust yes it is divided into three main rocks today we will learn about igneous rocks how igneous rocks are formed earth's crust consists of many rocks various types of rocks and the maximum content is the igneous rocks okay the maximum volume of the various rocks out of the various rocks the maximum is the igneous rocks igneous rocks has been derived from the latin word ignis which means fiery rocks they are called fiery rocks because they are formed from the molten rock very deep inside the earth's crust the temperature is so hot extreme hot that the rocks start to melt they start melting because of the increasing temperature the liquid matter which comes out from the volcano which comes out of the surface of the earth when it is too hot it comes in the form of molten material which is known as magma This magma is a very hot liquid made of all molten minerals. It consists of molten minerals. When this magma reaches the earth's surface, it is known as lava. 
once this lava comes upwards towards the surface of the earth comes outwards of the surface of the earth it cools and it becomes into solid form which is known as extrusive igneous rocks why extrusive because those are formed outside those are formed on the upward outside the surface of the earth okay however some of the molten material some of the magma cannot come out outside it cannot reaches towards the earth surface therefore it cools inside the earth surface under the earth surface and which is known as intrusive igneous rocks in the book it is not mentioned extrusive and ig- intrusive it is al- only mentioned that the magma which cools under the earth surface and the magma which comes outside the earth surface in the form of lava so these are the two different types of igneous rocks so when this lava when this molten material comes outside or it remains inside also it starts to cool okay because it is reaching outside but when it is deep inside it is very hot and it starts melting in the form of lava it becomes molten material but when it reaches towards the earth surface some of the lava some of the molten material comes outside that is extrusive igneous rocks or you can say just remember only igneous rocks okay i hope you are you are clear how the igneous rocks are formed these are formed when the rocks melt in the uh, when the rocks melt deep inside the earth's crust where as the temperature is so high then once they melt they form molten material which is known as magma and then they start to flow molten material is a liquid form when they start to flow that is called lava hot lava is flowing okay when this lava flows then it starts to cool because of the outer temperature is little cool so it cools and solidifies it becomes solid rocks and then these rocks are known as igneous rocks children now we will learn about the different types of igneous rocks the very common igneous rock and this term you might have heard that is granite granite is an igneous rock which is formed when the molten material magma it cools slowly and slowly under the surface of the earth it does not comes outside it just slowly cools under the surface of the earth and then the granite rock is formed it is very hard and it contains three main minerals that this rock contains three main minerals inside it that is quartz mica and feldspar okay so these things you have to remember and there are different colors of granite rock it may be pink red black white yellow any colors of granite rock depending on which mineral it contains okay and it is a very hard rock these rocks are used in building statues in building the buildings also very heavy tough building hard buildings because it is a hard rock so that is why these are used in building statues very much next is your basalt basalt is also an igneous rock which is having fine grains minerals and it is very shiny and glassy igneous rock it is formed when the lava when the volcanic lava it immediately cools and hardens quickly not taking much time whereas granite it cools slowly but basalt it cools very fast and it becomes hard above the surface of the earth not under it comes above the surface of the earth and when it comes with the outer temperature when it when this rock comes in contact with the outer temperature of the air then it immediately cools and becomes a very hard rock that is called basalt it is basically used in construction purposes and it is a very dark colored rock children there are many examples of igneous rocks some other examples of igneous rocks are obsidian pumice diorite uh, obsidian is an igneous rock it is a dark colored igneous rock which is formed when the magma suddenly cools and then a glassy appearance appear on the rock and it is sometimes colorful also 
glossy and colorful though it is dark but it looks glossy types okay and once this obsidian is broken it has sharp edges and this sharp things are used by the ancient human people in order to any uh, for any sharp tool as a very sharp tool because at that time knife was not there so they use such type of uh, obsidian rock in order to as a sharp edges also the obsidian rocks are been used as the ornaments as they are colorful those colorful obsidian rocks are used in the uh, processing of ornaments another one is your pumice pumice is also a light colored igneous rock which is it is not dark colored it is a very light igneous rock which is formed when the lava cools quickly on the earth's surface when the frothy lava frothy means the completely surrounded with lava suddenly it cools on the earth's surface the lava is surrounded but it cools as it comes on the earth's surface and as the la uh, lava cools the gases which is remained in the uh, the gases which is remain in that lava in that uh, molten material in that froth it gets trapped inside and it forms into a rock and therefore pumice if you have seen pumice it looks like a spongy type material having small small air holes with in it okay so this is normally used as a body scrubber or in uh, as a remover of something and to polish furniture and cars and vehicles to polish your floors it is also used in parlors and also as a scrubber okay another one example i told you is diorite diorite is also an igneous rock which is basically used in construction purposes in buildings so normally igneous rocks as they are formed from the molten material so they are very hard some are glossy and some are hard and the very hard uh, rock is the granite which i discussed previous also so this is all about the igneous rocks so children after watching my this video of igneous rocks formation i hope your concept is clear that how igneous rocks are formed did you enjoy it you learned a very interesting thing okay so be good children after going through the video just read the book once again completely your concept is clear up to that much how much i have taught just read that much and be ready for the worksheet thank you children